cow. Nice warmth coming from it. Ah, We're basically stuck here right now. It's going to be about two feet of snow coming up here in the next two days. Are we in trouble? Good morning. So we are still here in the snow. We are about to be affected by one of the biggest snowstorms in a long time. It doesn't feel safe for us to kind of trek back down uh, towards the Vegas area. So we're gonna sit tight and we are supposed to get a two day accumulation of snow. And it looks like it might be around between two to four feet of snow. So that's crazy. I mean, this feels like it's, we could call this the blizzard of 2023. I'm hopeful because we're together. Dave and I are together this round. So I'm not gonna be doing this by myself. Woohoo! The wind is picking up. Yes, that's another thing. So we're getting about 45 mile uh, to 65 mile an hour winds. We're just gonna have to hunker down. Oh man. So my goal is to try to, as best I can, kind of keep up with the snowfall, not not wait and let, it, let three feet of snow accumulate. My hope is every like six inches or so, I'm out here kind of cleaning it up. I want to have a nice campsite for us, nice fire pit. We have wood for the fire tonight. Tanya has some great meals she's planning as well. So, and we're gonna be firing up on our, on our grill out here. So I want this set up nice. I will say we are worried about the amount of snow accumulating on top of our Echo Desert Snow because we've never had a ton of snow on it and worried about the weight. Now, fortunately it is a dry snow, but uh, we're gonna keep our eye on that. I may have to go up there and try to uh, brush the snow off during the snowstorm. Hey babe, since we're gonna be here for a few nights, you know, do you mind getting out the lights so we could actually make this our real winter wonderland? Well, that's a great idea, babe. I'll, uh, I'll get that right after I finish shoveling. Awesome, okay, thank you. Can't wait till, can't wait till nighttime. This is beautiful. I know. Wow. It's gonna be a real winter wonderland. We're camping in a place with a lot of wildlife, from mountain lions to deer to coyote. Uh, foxes and things like that and so we've set up some cameras motion sensor cameras to try to see if we pick anything up we're also probably look for footprints later as well but uh here are the cameras and i see one right up there there's one and it's kind of looking off that way here's the other one right there kind of looking off so no promises we'll see anything but if we do you will definitely definitely see it so fingers crossed hopefully we'll catch something cool all right update so day one of the storm looks like we're going to be getting closer to 10 inches but we think we're going to go for a little walk so one important thing we always say is make sure you have layers and in this case we have ones that are sort of our windbreakers especially since it's going to be like 45 between 45 and 60 mile an hour winds can't wait to show you guys what the campground looks like at night since we kind of set the lights here kind of making our own little winter wonderland so you gotta stay positive in all this right it's important Wow, the wind has really died down, babe, huh? I know, yeah. it's the calm before the storm. <laughs> exactly. The calm before the, the gods open up everything and just empty out their vacuum cleaner. And it's actually true, because there's some big storms coming. I know, I, we, we keep saying that because we've never been this deep in no, snow at no, all. No, no, no. coming. This is actually the blizzard that's hailing from California. It's all across the all country. All across the country. So this is the blizzard of 2023. And we're about to show them what's oh! You know what, honestly? We couldn't have chose a better camper van for it. Oh, I know. And we're together this time. I know. I don't have to do it by myself. <laughs> all by myself. Babe, when we yeah. were in Alaska, it was like the folks, it's called Mountain Men Marathon or whatever it was, or Mountain Women. They're yeah, kind in of, Seward. In Seward, Alaska. And they were kind of running straight up those hills. It looked a little something like this. <clears throat> uh oh, here we go. Are you feeling it? Ah! Oh my goodness. You got it, Tanya. You're almost there. <laughs> That's my babe right there. That's my babe. 
I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. You can, you can make it look like I hit the top. Well, I can, but you can. <laughs> you hit the top. Congratulations. High five. Woo! That's the top. Coffee in bed. Coffee in bed. Coffee in bed. That's the way it should be because that first taste so heavenly. It's so good. Thank you. It's actually a beautiful morning, too. The snow stopped. Sure. Oh, it stopped. Right? Beautiful. Wow. So, in the middle of the night, I heard a big thump down below. And then, of course, I looked down and Brady was like hovered over by the shoes. Really? So, you know, lots of snow. The only other thing that likes uh, snow as much as us are mice. Well, I remember the last time it, Brady did that. Yeah, there was a Brady caught a mouse. So, hopefully, just before you put your shoes on, check to make sure there's no micey poo. I'm not scared. <laughs> Uh, I'll be scared if I see something. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> cat. Well, now it's gonna, it's gonna be. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, so we have a little break in the first leg of this big blizzard of 2023. We call it. So the plan today is we know we're about to get hit with the monster one today and it's supposed to start around 10 o'clock ish. So it's bright and early. Uh, my plan today is I have an awesome stew that I want to make. It's an oxtail stew, southern style, and it takes a lot of preparation and I'm going to be doing it in a Dutch oven. So that's the plan for today. But I first, before I can do any of that, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful scene right here with a cup of coffee. All right, so thus far, Dave is inside, and he's been doing a lot of the shoveling, and I feel bad because we only have one. So for this morning, a little surprise before he comes out, I am going to shovel. Let's see how fast I can do this. <laughs> So let's see what Dave thinks. Give him a surprise. And there was a little surprise I saw in the back. I saw some tracks. He may know what they are that led to the RV, which is maybe going to what we heard last night. But here, let's surprise him. Dave! I have a surprise for you. What, babe? Just come down the stairs. Well, two surprises, really. First okay. one is look to the left. Look what I did. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Thanks, baby. That's I know. amazing. I to help you out a little bit. I <laughs> Thanks, baby. Give me a kiss. Yeah, of course. Good morning. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Yeah, look over here. When I was plowing or shoveling, oh, yeah. look, there's under, tracks. Under our rig. All these tracks here. Yeah. And they went under the rig. Well, that might explain what, what uh, Brady was hearing. And it kind of stops there, yeah. which means I'm thinking they may have crawled up the wire. I want to check. Another out. large. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't have this stuff under the rig. That's what I'm thinking. Right, if I give them a way to crawl place, up, they can like, kind of crawl up. Like here too, like they yeah. crawl up the wire. Oh my God, we have a mouse. We have all this stuff they can crawl up on. We have a mouse in yeah. the house, you guys. Brady. Quick story time. The inspiration for today's stew is coming from my mother. So when I was a kid, my mom made this dish and I didn't know what to expect. I knew it smelled really good, but when she told us it was oxtail, I was like, Ew, I don't know about that. Oh, I'm so sorry. But when I tried it, it was so tender and fell off the bone, I could never get it out of my head. So anytime I hear oxtail um, dishes, I've always wanted to try making my own. And I figured today's kind of the perfect day to do that because of the snow uh, that we're about to get hit. I think having something hearty uh, just feels right. And trying to create this oxtail stew, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I got to get prepping, but yeah, thanks mom. Oh wait, I'm at the door. Oh boy. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Are we in trouble? 
No, you're not in trouble. <laughs> sure. um, oh, we're just letting everybody know from the Forest Service side of things that it's going to be about two feet of snow coming up here in the next two days. We're probably not going to be plowing the road, oh. um, just so you're aware. Yeah. Um, and if you do need to leave or if you're not good to stay at least until Monday. So until Monday. Um, okay. Yeah. That will be probably when we can actually get up here to clear things out. Dave, did you hear that? I did, wow. So not until Monday. I mean, we have tons of food and right. lots of propane, so we, we probably can last to the middle of the week of next week. But yeah. I'm, that's a big deal. And I'll have to get up and clean off the roof too when oh. the snow comes in, so. Yeah, oh my gosh. So it looks like we definitely have to hunker down. This is getting real. No, it is. And uh, like I was excited, but now I'm a little nervous because the fact that they were all advised not to come I know. Come up here to plow us out. Like we're gonna, we're on our own. And we're used to seeing the park service around. It's weird not having them come up. What's wrong, babe? What's going on? You okay? I'm fine. Um, onions. Oh, onions. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got all my ingredients ready to prep for my meal tonight. And uh, now Dave, Dave is up. Let's light this can. Here it goes. There it goes. Oh, there right, it goes. It. A lot of coals. The coals. All right, so the coals are nice and hot right now. I could feel it, which is nice. It feels good on my hands. So basically what I'm gonna put in the Dutch oven, the bottom layer is gonna have the vegetables that I, you saw me preparing and chopping up with the exception of the mushrooms. Um, those will come later on, the mushrooms, and I have like a tomato paste I'm gonna drop into that broth after about 60 minutes on this first drive. Um, then I'm gonna put the, on, uh, the vegetables at the bottom, then the oxtail kind of goes right in there, and then I'm gonna put the garlic cloves in between those, my little seasonings. Voila, get it started. Anyway, enough talk. Let's pray. Secret ingredient. I just had to tell you that. This is the secret ingredient, and it's not just for us, it actually goes into the stew. to come on here and say really quick uh, while the food is brewing just how awesome it is to really be up here just camping you know Dave and I really do enjoy camping and I love being able to do this with my husband we really bounce off each other so well whether it's preparing for deep snow whether it's dealing with issues in the RV and that's kind of what it's all about you know just focusing on the adventures and what you can handle and taking things one step at a time looking good over there babe Back away. Moment of truth. There it is. It smells amazing. Oh, thank you, hon. I've been trying to withstand the temptation to open it up. I know. Right? Yeah. Ready? Voila. Whoa. Get a whiff. Oh. oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Goodness. It smells so Look good. Look at that. Carrots, the onions. Ooh. Look. Woo! It's time to eat. Hey. Amazing. Thank I love you. you so much. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, well, bon appetit. This is going to be hearty, I nice, know, filling. Amazing. There's a lot of good stuff going on in there. So I'll let, the, I'll let you have the first bite. Tell me what you think. Okay. Tender, mm. tender, juicy. Oh, it's so tender and the flavor is amazing. You like it? It's not really good. Yeah, you know, baby. Good stuff. Dive in, babe. So I'm thinking, you know, after we finish here, because it's been, it's going to be such a battle with the snowstorm coming up, that we take some food down to our host. I mean, uh, I made like a whole bunch. So what if we took some down to them? Oh, absolutely. Yay! So the temperature's starting to drop in. I know, I can feel, feel it. I see some snowflakes are coming. So. I feel it. I can see it falling on my face. All right. And my... Ooh, all right. I got a good amount, good portion size for the host. And this should not get them through at least the storm. And it's getting ready to come down right now, so let's take it to them. I think they're going to really appreciate this, Dave. Oh, uh, they're going to love it. Right? Yeah, it's like comfort food. Exactly. Two feet of snow, storm weather food. Made by Tanya. Made by Tanya. <laughs> hey guys, I am such a lucky guy. I mean, Tanya just made an incredible oxtail stew. She's an amazing woman. Uh, but we hung out actually with the host for a while. We brought them the stew. They really appreciate it. We had a great time down there. 
And so now the snow, you might see here behind me, the snow has really started falling. And so what we think we're gonna do, we're gonna actually save the campfire for tomorrow night after we get the full snowstorm. I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And we have something special planned inside. Yeah. So tonight I'm gonna try this method. I know folks talk about if you have mice or if there's a mouse uh, you wanna keep out. Well, they say dryer sheets tend to have like that smell they don't want. So I'm gonna try and rub some of these on all four tires really quick and see if that keeps them because I think the entry point was the front tire. From that sounds good. The last one from the prints we saw. Right, rub it, rub it, rub it. That stuff smells. Right, that's what I'm hoping, counting smell -licious. on. It'll smell delicious. <laughs> keeps the mice, mice delicious. Let's take on this. And I also removed everything out from under the rig. Try not to leave any climbing things for the mice to get in. Everything is out. So what are we doing here? All right, so this is called Sling a Puck. So Sling a Puck is a game where it's like you have, there's 10 pucks, all black. And uh, so you got your cowboy hat on, ready to sling. Yes, so. <laughs> sling a puck. Get my cowboy um, hat. So yeah, you might want to slide a little bit this direction, just a little bit. Okay. And the objective is for you to get all of your pucks on my side and mine on yours. And the way you do it is you have to pull it back and sling it. All right, so pull it back and sling, exactly. Sounds and so, good. here we go. Ready to do it? Ready? Let's do it. Woohoo! Let's do All it. Right. Oh. Oh! Like a bug! The kitties like their fresh water in the morning. A little water change. I guess we also give them spring water. Today is going to be the perfect day for Dave and I to get out and enjoy a little bit of the mountain. It's closed to access, so we're gonna snowshoe and we're gonna do a little snow tubing. And when I say little snow tubing, I mean little snow tubing. Ooh, there it is. How's it going? This pup does suck, man. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying. It's a little one. Oh my god. It's a little one. I don't know. I mean, that is not going to fit half my butt cheek. I think cheek. it's rated 10 years old. It's not going to fit half my butt cheek, Dave. Right. Rated 10 years old. We'll see how long the sledding lasts. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Come on, little buddy. We can do this. Come on. We're doing it together. If we're going to be stuck in this deep snow, like, I'm going to make snow cones. So I'm going to put these right out on the table. Nice little spot for them, as long as the wind doesn't blow them over. That's a great idea. And collect, and by the time it fills up, we'll make snow cones with orange juice. Before I light this, let me teach you a quick trick I learned from a fellow YouTuber. If you don't have tumbleweed or good kindling wood, just put a little Vaseline on cotton balls, put it underneath the dry wood. Yeah, okay. or if you don't have that, save some money on those cotton balls, you could just use some dryer lint and that does the trick. Yeah, if you got that handy. <laughs> it smells nice too. <laughs> That's true. Light this candle, baby. Ooh. Oh, I see it. I see it, I see it kicking in. Yeah, I see it. Oh, nice job. Well, we love the smaller wood too for the wood stove in our hot tent, right? You can need small pieces for that. So you gotta chop it up. Yeah, well, you did a great job. High Thanks, five, baby. Uh, All high right. five, uh. All right. <laughs> oh, check it out. The snow cones. We're gonna be making nice snow cones. Look at that. Hey, babe. Yeah. What do you say we give it a little test run before we take it on over there? I, I think, think so. there's a perfect little hill. Right there, look at that little hill. I think that's that, a perfect little test. I think that would be good. Those, that's, those are pretty small. I think uh, we haven't used those since we we're like 10 years old. 10? They're pretty tiny. Really, 10? Well, time to bring back 10 years old All right. again. Tiny's got All this. Right. You got it, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Woo. All right, there you go.
you should definitely subscribe after that because I actually got back up on two feet. I'm not hurt. I thought you did a nice job. I was, I was very impressed. Ooh, thank you. You're up. <laughs> uh oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Dave is up, ready for the world champion, Winter Olympics, lifesaver. <laughs> Look at that run. Whoa. Oh. Oh, he's right. He's following in my tracks. Wow. Superman. Superman. Oh, Superman. <laughs> he's kicking over the wall. Look at him go. All right, hold on. Oh, we gotta catch him. We gotta catch him. We gotta catch him. We gotta catch him. Oh, going down my feet. Look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Following in the path. Oh, Superman. There he is. Oh, oh, I'm coming for you, Superman. I'm coming for you, Superman. You got me. I'm coming for you. I'm coming All for you. All right. Nice job. Nice job, babe. Woo. Oh my God. We, we found, found a bigger, bigger hill. hill. All right, Dave, are you ready? I'm ready. I think I found the perfect path. All right. It looks a little something like this. Ah, uh, you ready? I'm ready. Whoa. Ooh, oh. turn it, turn it. Oh, 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 turn. This is, ah, woo, 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 woo. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was so fun. Did you that we landed perfectly? We did. I just hope we don't start a trend here. I know exactly. Woo! Woo! Get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, oh Dave! Oh my God, watch the jump! Oh, watch the it. jump! Oh, Woo! Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! These might be fox tracks. Look at them. Oh, right. see the track master. Dave is the track master, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, if you guys know. These tracks, let us know in the comments I below. I can't even tell what those it, tracks are. It's tough because they're covered. blowing in, yeah. Well, the snow is really starting to come down now. It is heavy. It was really windy earlier as well. Actually, wind gusts are projected to be up to 60 miles an hour. And it's uh, they're still saying up to two feet of snow here. So it's really coming. We are, we're hunkering down here. We're basically stuck here right now. So, I mean, there's no way out. So we're going to hunker down in our campsite. And um, the snow, a little worry because the snow is a bit stickier. So you can see the snowball right there. It's snowball weather. And um, you know, Tana's been really worried about the roof and kind of getting two feet of snow, kind of heavy, wet snow on the roof. And I, I'm worried too. I've been trying to be, uh, you know, make her calm down about that and not be too nervous, but it's definitely something I gotta check that and potentially uh, go up there and take that off the roof later if it gets too high. Man, it really is getting a lot colder out here. And we're just gonna take it one hour at a time in this storm, because it's coming down hard. And it, man, it's just whacking me in the face here, but, and this will definitely be the heaviest snow and deepest snow ever on Desert Snow's roof. So really, really gotta be careful with that. And, um, you know, make sure we kind of get that off the roof. Last thing we wanna do is have a leak in the roof. Uh, we've been through a lot already in Desert Snow and, you know, we're ready to kind of hit the road, do a lot of more fun stuff and don't wanna be getting that roof repaired. Wow, it's really whipping. Oh, you can see how much of it is. Look, look right down there. Coming right up, oh, in my face. Oh, you can feel it. Can you feel it in your face? Because I feel it in my face, it's really. We tried to shovel as much as we could shovel to keep it as low, but so we've kind of given up on that. So we're gonna try and uh, just do what we can do. I'm sure Dave probably told you this, the plan is just to hunker down, but you could feel some of the wind gusts just really kind of hit the rig. this morning and the sun is shining um we don't know what it looks like out there fully yet 
but we know it's gonna be a beautiful morning and uh wow what an adventure these past several days we'll see we may still be stuck here for another day but it's it's been worth it lots of fun so we're gonna have some coffee and uh see what it looks like outside this morning He will not move from this spot, which makes me think that there might be an intruder. So I almost forgot. So Dave actually set up some cameras to see if we could capture some animal tracks or animals overnight, past few nights. There haven't been any, uh, with the exception of a few small mice. So we're gonna give him a reason to check those cameras. So guess what? I have one right now. Check this out. I got my Sasquatch man. So, my Sasquatch man. <gasps> Wow. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm kind of tucked behind this wall. It's probably a lot of snow, over a foot deep here. So there's the camera right up there, right by the, the traction pads right up there on the ladder, the green traction pad. So I'm going to make my way <laughs> through the snow over here up to the camera and then just basically say gotcha sasquatch caught on camera <laughs> Oh my god, okay. The things we do for love. That was so hilarious. He's going to, he's gonna laugh so hysterically. It's not even funny. All right, I'm gonna go make some coffee to warm up because I am frozen, but that was hilarious. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Hey, my turn. I surprised you I with puppy. Slept, slept in today. Beautiful out there. I can hear the folks out there. Trying to clear things up. That snow is deep, dude. Right, wow. Nice. And I can even see how pretty it is, even with my bad eyesight. Right? How beautiful <laughs> yeah, it is out there. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, well, good morning, my Thank love. Thank you, baby. Love you so much. You're welcome. You work so hard shoveling yeah. all the dang time. Huh. So I'm going to make you a nice breakfast. So get up. Yeah. I'm ready to kind of get packing. Get packing. Get out of here. I'll make a good breakfast. Yeah, see the sunshine, babe. Wow. Oh, wow, beautiful. See, there, they're out there proud. All right, all right, like clean us out. Cleaning us out. Oh, breakfast time for everyone. Breakfast. Come and get breakfast. Gorgeous out there, oh right? Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love days after snowstorms and this blue sky, the sun comes out. It's amazing. Yeah, and the sun just shines right off of all that oh. fresh powder. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the roof, too. It yeah. ended up being pretty light snow because oh, it really? got later, and it blew off. There's not a lot of snow up there. And oh, plus, of course, God. we have the rack with a panel that kind of right, holds a lot of the weight. Solar so panels. Uh, we're in good shape. Thank God. Yeah. Totally forgot about tiny snow cones out here and just shoveled them off the uh, picnic table. We have to buy some uh, fresh ones. Let's see, I can take this down here. Darn it. Hey, babe. Yeah. I got a confession to make to you. What is it? What is that? Well, this oh is my for god, you. the snow cones! Yeah, but I, I gotta tell you, I shoveled them off the, uh, the table. Out there, I forgot they're completely buried. You shoveled my snow cones off yeah, the table. Yeah, I tossed them off the table. I'm gonna make I'm both sorry. of these for you, and you're gonna eat them both. <laughs> Just kidding. And I'll like it. That's okay. Oh, oh, oh so yeah, I'm my okay. God! I'm out of here. Go. <laughs> oh my God! I almost forgot. These cameras. 
Hey, babe. Yeah. I got something. Remember the cameras we set up? Oh, that's right. Right? That's right. I totally forgot. I know. Can you hear me on my phone? I want to see if we actually got any yes. animals yes, in there. That is a good idea. Oh my God, we've been so crazy busy with the snowstorm. Yeah, there's actually a ton of videos here. Are you kidding me? I, I, I mean, I don't. There's a lot it. Of, are you kidding me? We got hold something. On. Yeah, yeah, hold on. You set it up. All right. You did it. Hold on. Wait, oh my God. Wait. You set it up nicely. What do we got here? What? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, I hate it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, it looks like a Sasquatch. Is that yeah. a Sasquatch? Yeah, no, you got me. You got me. <laughs> I got me all excited. <laughs> got me all excited. Hey, what? All You're right. on camera. Look at your, uh, I still your, love you, babe. It's your fuzzy wuzzy Sasquatchy. <laughs> that is, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Woo! Packed up, ready to rock and roll. I'm so sorry. By the way, for that little oh no, that was awesome. I love it. Little Sasquatch moment, but that's part one. I still owe you a bigger one. That was a little mini payback. A little mini payback. But I loved it. I gotta hey, give you a high five for thank that. Thank you. Well, now it's truly time for us to get into some uh, warmer pastures. So off to the next adventure.